All right, Charlotte Wong. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praises, glory, respect, and blessings to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai. I also would like to say salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, teaching this truth, patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai to come back, even at this uh, very moment. And double honors to the apostles of GMS, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Baha Shun, Yahweh Shai. Okay. Jerry, what up? Salakia for the loud noise, man. I'm, I'm walking, you know, through a bunch of niggas. But, uh, yeah, this uh, video is going to be about uh, how the coronavirus could possibly lead to the mark of the beast. And one of the main reasons why I believe that this virus, the coronavirus, can lead, and key word is can lead, I'm not saying that it will lead, but it, it has the capability of leading to the RFID chip. Because, I mean, think about it, with this virus, right, people's already afraid to touch doorknobs, People's already afraid to touch anything really without wearing gloves. You know, people are, are afraid to touch many things. You know? So, you know, the uh, Trump, Mr. Uh, President Trump, can say that, uh, What if somebody who had the coronavirus was making transactions with dollars, with paper dollars? Well, they could say that the money, the coronavirus could be on the money. And through just that justification alone, they can cancel all dollar transactions they can cancel they, they can do away with the money just on that alone say that uh you know that the coronavirus could be on these uh dollars so we, we got to stop using dollars now and if you think about it the very same dollar well, if you have any paper dollars in your wallet, has been touched by over a thousand people before it got to you. So just on, on, on that uh, little justification alone, they can stop doing, they, they, they can uh, uh, stop using actual paper money to make exchanges, to buy and also sell. And then they can justify uh, uh, going digital. They could say that uh, dealing with the coronavirus would be much safer if we went electronically to do our transactions. You see? And then they can do some kind of glitch, I don't know, with, with like the credit cards or debit cards, and then, you know, stop all that. And then they can say, well, you know, since the credit cards and, you know, things like that don't work, you know, the only, only option left is gonna be what? The chip. Now, I, I saw that video that the, uh, South Carolina uh, brother did well the, the live stream he did yesterday and you know in his live stream he showed a video of IUIC and you know Nate once again Nate was making mockery of us for saying that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast 
and with it, it you're going to be able to buy and sell. Okay, so it's about to get to a point where people inside of the congregations of these false Israelite groups, they're going to start questioning uh, uh, some of their teachings. They're going to start questioning these guys. They're going to be looking for answers. And you know what happens if you call yourself trying to give, you know, the, the right answers according to the Holy Scriptures. Your, your uh, master Esau is going to take away your 501c3 charter and you're not going to be tax exempt no more. Now the Scriptures speak about false prophets teaching for 50 lucre's sake. But I'm going to go ahead and read this. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16. And he caused of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. So, rather if you're in jail, you might be in prison, you might be in a state penitentiary, you might be in a county jail for a, a certain amount of years. Esau has many possibilities of introducing this chip to you. Or you might be able to walk around, okay? It's gonna become mandatory to take the chip, okay? If you're rich, you know, which uh, Yahweh spoke about a, a rich man in the book of Matthews, he said, a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom. So there's going to be a lot of these rich people, especially these basketball stars, these, uh, these, these different uh, sports players, these different rap stars, rock stars, country stars, singers, or anybody that is popular or way up there that have so much money. If you want to continue to use those riches, you're going to have to get the chip, okay? So rich or poor, and you know when Jake get desperate, he'll do anything. So guess what? Jake is going to take the chip. Jake is going to take the chip just so he can continue buying weed or cigarettes, you know? Some of our people is gonna take the chip so they can continue working. Or, you know, some of our people, they might get benefits like uh, welfare. Excuse me. You know, some of our people might get benefits like welfare, Section 8. Well, guess what? If you want to continue to get those government, uh, uh, them, them government goodies, you're going to have to take the chip. So verse 17, it says that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So if you ain't got this chip, you ain't gonna be able to do any kind of transactions, period. Okay? And it doesn't matter how many times you mock us, you can talk crap about us, yada, 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 you know, their conspiracy theory nuts. Guess what? We're still gonna continue to teach. And we're gonna continue to bring out know the correct doctrine
So verse 18, here is wisdom. Let him to have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is 600, three score and six. So, you know, I just wanted to make this video short, man. You know, going into how this virus can literally lead to the mark of the beast. Lord's will, your brothers were edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Rakakwadash. This is the year 2020, the year of prophecy. Kwam Yasha Allah is on to the next one. Shalom.